Here's the cabin on a trailer. Isn't this ever neat? See if I could get inside. Open. <laughs> Wood stove in the corner. This is cool. You can put you can put a bed in here and sleep, make a great big bunk bunk bed. This is a very neat little cabin. This I guess is supposed to be the bathroom laundry area. Don't have a plumb for a toilet that I can see. But there you go. Kitchen, place for a stove in the fridge. You're living here quite comfortably. Here, here's UGG signs off a of grain elevator. United Grain Growers. There you go. That's that. That's really enter it. Really neat. Here's a 1688 combine with a 1015 header on. This looks like a decent machine too. I mean, it's old, but this is a this is still a nice combine. This is something that. I would seriously consider dinged a bit in the back, but other than that, this combine's pretty nice. I think we got an 83 Cummins in it for power. Yeah, it's got a couple dings, but it's still a good combine. Here's the header for it. This is this is this look this is a flex header, this is a 1020 header with a transport and sold separate here's a sieve for it here's a sieve and some other parts here's another 1015 header with a victory super 8 pickup so there you have it here's a 7721 John Deere combine pull type this is repainted I think Still works good, I'm sure of that. The pull type combines were popular here at one time. Now everything's self-propelled. There you go. Here's an outhouse. This is a very rustic outhouse. There's two sides to this outhouse. So you gotta build the campsite. This could be for you. There you go. Here's another international drill. This is a 620 press drill. Looks actually in pretty decent shape. This is a 14 footer, I believe. There's some oats in here yet. I like to vacuum them right out. It's a lot easier on them. Here's some gas engines here. I'm not sure what this little guy is. Uh, Woolery engine. Okay. That's different. Here's the cloud engine. There you go. A brown wall engine, one horse. I don't know what this is. Covered up. Union, one and a half horsepower. Somebody made a tag for that, but that's. Union ends, I've never heard of them. There's a well, wagons, uh, benches made with wheels, with, with implement wheels, so picnic table made with wheels. 
Live edge plank bench. Odd tree. There you go. Everything's for sale here. Everything you can imagine. Here's an old Pontiac Parisienne. The what, 1960s, early 70s? It's a restoration project for somebody. The interior looks nice. 97,331 miles, 10 miles, not kilometers. It's a nice project for somebody. There you go. Here's a vintage John Deere Lund garden tractor. 110 looks like a nice shape too. Someone's, if you're collecting these things or you want something vintage to mow your yard with, this is for this could be for you. Here's a set of wooden wheels and tires for a Model T Ford. Look at that. And rims. Here's a whole bunch of plowshares. Here's some transmissions for vintage cars. Here's a, a post drill. Here's an, a little plant scraper. This might be a little big for the TD14. It might be, but I don't know. Oh, that time it looks like 21 to 25. I don't think they're quite that big. It's all on cable yet. Eighteen twenty-five all the way around, I think. So it could be a Cat 70 size even. I don't think it's quite, it'd it be pretty close maybe. So there you go. I don't know what this scraper is. It's another cable scraper. 1620 tires on it. This one the TD14 will handle, I think. This one's just got, this doesn't have an ejector, just a tilt ball. It's all on cable. Yeah, I think it's be good. They got a radio on the front. These got 1420s on the front. And then, of course, I think that TD14 will pull this all right. Here's an Isaacson scraper, just a little guy for pulling with a tractor. A little crawl, like a D3 or something like that, or D4. So there you go. Here's a greenhouse. Somebody built a greenhouse and brought it to the sale. So I hope they do very well with it. Looks really nice. There you go. Here's a nice heavy disc of some kind. International. Nice big offset disc. It'd be a pretty substantial tractor to pull it. Looks like this shaft's bent a bit. Yeah, it is a little. Yeah, it is bent a little bit. After you can pull it off the street, I think. I don't know what model of disc this is. I don't know much about international discs. But it's a nice heavy one. Here's a number 55 chisel plow. They, they got a couple shanks off of it, so they must have been pulling it with a smaller tractor that was originally a 12 footer, I think. Because here's, here's where two more were. May have had clogging issues. That may have been why it was taken off too. There, it's got the spikes and the shovels with them. The spikes aren't cheap either, so we wore shovels. And, so there you go. Here's a John Deere 14T baler. Looks like a nice shape too. Looking for a John Deere square baler? This could be for you. Here's a little Ellis Chalmers 5050 tractor. Cute little acreage tractor, 16,924 tires, so three-point hitch. It's 
got they're both fairly decent tires there are little cracks in them but I, I wouldn't be concerned about them 2222.5 hours there you go there's some parts for two cylinder John Deere it looks like John Deere R there's wheel weights for R again I'm pretty this is all John Deere R this is the clutch for them the clutch is inside the belt pulley so they're easy to get at Here's some retro oil cans, a whole bunch of them. They'll probably bring big money in their fall too. So there you go. Flywheel for John Deere. Steering box for John Deere. Head for John Deere. I think they, these are all our parts, I think. Yeah, there's black and stuff for John Deere. A whole pile of John Deere our parts. Here's the head in black, and here's other things. Here's the braking plow, a two-bottom braking plow. You get to, got new land and turn dirt, this could be for you. The back wheel is there for it, but it's not on. It needs some TLC. It's a cable braking plow. Here's an old Champion 562 grader. New blades on it. These are a real good grader. The champion is Canadian, but these are a good grader. N nice tires on it. Yeah, if you're plowing your yard or something, this could be for you. Nice, nice grader. Here's a whole pile of graders and a uh, whole. I don't do. I don't go through anything that's usually that's newer than 1990 so I'll just leave it at that here's a John Deere baler I think this one's a 24T after it's square John Deere baler this could be for you doesn't look that bad at all there you go Here's a braking plow, it looks like an international one. I think it is. I think this is IH and it's got a... They put a hydraulic cylinder on it and did away with the rope trip. You want to turn some fresh ground over, this is for you. Here's a number 10 grain drill with a grass seeder attachment on it this may be even earlier than that with the steel wheels yet I think it's a 10 though could be wrong oh, why won't this open he kept it nice and clean in here anyways Here's a John Deere six bottom plow. Nice looking plow. It looks like they, well, they painted the bottoms obviously, but I don't think it's a new plow, John Deere 3100, but it's got new shares on it. Look at that. It's a nice plow if you're looking for a six bottom plow. This is quite a vehicle and all three, uh, it's not a Jeep, I don't think it's something else. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, add what, I'll add what it is in the caption. Somebody put a diesel engine in it, a four-cylinder diesel engine. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's diesel-powered. It's completely open. It's in kilometers. It shows 117 kilometers, which I don't believe that. Got a four speed in it. There you go. Never seen anything like this before, but somebody made an interesting homemade front end for it, anyways. It's 
the winch on the front. There you go. Here's a set of 6200 grain drills. The press drills are very t common around here. There are some end wheel drills too, but these are typical. It looks like 28 foot 214s. It's got transports on it so you can pull them sideways down the road. And they kept the they kept it nice and clean in here. There you go. Here's a Maytag, look at this, a Maytag washing machine with a Maytag engine on it. If you wanted to wash your uh, clothes off grid, this could be for you. Here's a rustic little shed. Looks neat. It's a storage shed that looks really nice. Uh, it's got a nice step on the front. Well, it is an auction sale without a Ford 8 in. We've had lots, our fair share of those. This one's got new rubber on the back. At least this tire is. It comes with a blade, a back blade. Yeah, they're new tires, but mismatch, but that's okay. They're tires. They're nice new tires. That's the main thing. Looks like this little guy's in nice shape. There you go. Here's a side delivery rake, rake of John Deere. Ground driven one. Nothing wrong with John Deere heating equipment. There you go. Here's a International engine, the LB one and a half, two and a half machine. You name it, they've got it. Here's another IH disc. Looks like, uh, what, I say 18 feet, 480, I think. Nice, nice field disc. It's disc, the discs are down a bit though. Front ones knock, notch, the back what discs are smooth. There you go. And nice, it looks like John Deere plow. Four bottom. That yeah, needs some, it definitely needs some landslides. Still nice enough plow, just needs the end that needs bottoms. Done, this plow has kept been, I don't think it's been abused, but it's done a lot of work. Now if you do some work to it, this plow might be for you. There you go. Here's a Buick, I think it's a Buick Sentry. I don't know cars I'm doing this for my viewers. Actually, it looks pretty decent. It's not rust. There's no rust on it. Only 25,205 miles, so it's in miles, so it's heavy in the 1970s because in Canada, about 78 is when everything started to be in kilometers. I think 77, 78, somewhere in there. They're a nice old car for some, but somebody wants an old car. This is good for them. Look at this, a little playhouse. Good play, good uh, place for the kids to hang out. There's a little heater in it. Look at that. Something that. Very neat. Here's a 4690 case. Looks like the rubber's good on the inside. The duals don't have to be that good and they're not bad. It looks like 20.834 is on it. 
It's not a bad looking old tractor actually. It's got a PTO 1000 RPM one. It's got quad remotes. Yeah, this is not a bad tractor. 20.834 rubber on it. There you go. Yeah, the front looks bad. They got just a screen over at the front. Straight, this is a nice straight old tractor. Here's a 3406B. It looks like a V cat engine out of a truck and parts with it. Here's a transmission of some kind, I don't know what it is. There's 9370 International here and this is the stuff for it is what it is. They pulled that apart and sold the pieces separate, isn't that clever? Here's a V800 International engine is what this is. It's probably have a TD20 or 20, yeah I think it's have a TD20. But that's what your 45 and 4786 tractors have and stuff like that. Here it looks like a 5100 with a grass feeder attachment on. In fact, they know it's a 5100. Looks like a fairly good drill. See it step inside. Oh, they keep kept this nice and clean. They're looking for a 5100. This is a nice drill. Here's a whole bunch of wheel weights. Here's a set of W6 wheel weights. Here's a set of nine wheel weights. Here's the split wheel weights. These ones here are case ones and I don't know what that, what that one is. Look like John Deere R wheel weights here. Closed ringers too. Nice antique. Here's another little cabin. 10 by 24. It's locked so you can't go in. It's finished rustic. I don't see any stove in it or anything, but the building's there. It's not, it's got a little porch. It's 10 by 24. Nice. Here's a Cat 910 loader, just the little guy. These are handy. A wheel loader is always handy. See, it's probably got the little 3204 for power. It's a nice little loader. These be a handy little sucker. It actually looks, it looks decent. It's not been beat up or anything. 40Y637, I think is the serial number. 15525, it's got a little bucket on it. Here's an international 350 disc. Looks like about a 10 footer. Looks like a nice shape. Discs are in nice shape and everything. A little hitch for pulling hero or something like that. There you go. Here's a set of 6200 grain drills. These are Case IH. Looks like they are sold here once before. Looks like 28 footers. A pair of them again. With transport, so you can pull her down the road sideways. These are the Case IH, so they're newer. <laughs> Still a few oats in here. But there you go. Here's an 8430 John Deere I actually missed in the last one. 20.838 singles that don't look too bad. Nice and it had a blade on it. This one apparently is not running. So if you want to do, a, if you want to fix her up four wheel drive, this could be for you. There you go. 
there's another ship. Looks like it's a similar design. It is. So hopefully whoever brought, built these and brought them here does what, do well with it. That one at all is brought, brought higher than the kite. They're very rustic and very nice. So there you go. Here's a van trailer. I know who's got it. This is a job site trailer. It's actually in pretty good shape. There's offices in here and lunch room and stuff, so microwave, work area. So if you got if you're into dirt jobs or something like that, this is for you. Here's a three horse Johnson boat motor, that's a classic. This looks like a 5500 chisel plow, great big bugger. Now our, on our ground there'll be no dice for us. This is for this is a big one, this is for sandy soil. This must be a 40 foot one or more. Need a lot. It our, it our, you need a huge a huge tractor for this. Got a drawbar behind my guess as they pull a set of spring tooth heroes. It's got Leon mounted heroes on it, anyways. That's the pull. I don't know what they would have pulled behind it, but the 5500, I think, a huge one. Here's a John Deere fuel tank. This looks like an IH disc right here, a, fair, a fairly good sized one. Take a fairly substantial tractor to pull this. What size of disc is this? Looks like it's actually in pretty decent shape. Got a new spool there. 490. Looks like a good disc. In our ground would need the 4366 to pull it. So there you go. These are packer wheels here that go behind. They pulled these behind the plow and then they pulled the drill behind that. My grandpa had a setup like this. And he pulled a three bottom little genius number eight. A pack plus a set of these Packer wheels, wheels plus a, a 42 inch international pony drill all with a W4 red power. Woohoo! Here's a John Deere number eight sickle mower by the look of it. These are a good mower. It's missing the wing board, but these are a good mower. Here's a couple of John Deere semi-mount plows. Looks like a five and a seven bottom. I see the concept of mounted equipment never really caught on, but here's a couple of mounted plows. They look actually quite decent. So if you like if you have a three-point hitch, a bigger tractor with a three-point hitch, these could be for you. So there you go. Here's a bunch of international parts of battery boxes and lids. Seat, cranks. That, that say I shuttered is not international. So there you go. Oh, well, that was a good auction. It wasn't just quality there, but quantity too. This is, I think, my largest auction video I've ever done. That 666 and, and 856 in particular were real nice, but also the 4010 was really nice too. And the 2010, there's, there's some nice tractors of all makes there. And it was it's just a good auction sale. 
So God bless you in the next video. Bye.